Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. And a happy Friday to you. Can you believe we are at the end of another work week and so close to that Labor Day weekend? And hey, we actually did a little bit of calculations uh, this morning talking about how warm it's been over the summer. Since uh, uh, since the 10th of July, we have had six days where we've had high temperatures of at 85 or above. That is hot by our standards around here. And since then, we've only had one day where, we're, uh, where the high temperature was at 85 or above. So it's been hot or not pretty much throughout this summer. And we've got a little bit more toast air to go through the next couple of days really going to be nice cooler less humidity lots of sunshine right through the weekend labor day itself is going to be warm a little bit muggy and then as the kids go back to school on tuesday we're going around 82 degrees so speaking about the weekend let's talk about it in a little bit of detail here 71 tomorrow lots of sunshine cooler refreshing it's going to be a great day there will be a small chance for a spotty shower late in the afternoon into the evening but i really wouldn't even worry about that sunday nice and dry 74 sunshine continues and labor day itself 80 degrees, but the humidity comes up along with that as well, but should remain mainly dry. Future scan shows you nada throughout the day today, so it's going to be partly to mostly sunny uh, throughout the afternoon today. Now, a few clouds overnight tonight. Now, early, uh, basically, uh, tonight starts dry. Uh, the dew point's really going to drop into the 40s. Some low temperatures tomorrow morning likely upper 40s in the valleys for some locations. Tomorrow, a nice day. Now, here we go into Saturday night. You can see some of the cloud cover moving in, so Saturday night should be partly to mostly cloudy. And then Sunday, we'll call it partly sunny, but I think more sunshine than clouds, though, throughout much of the area on Sunday. So through the afternoon today, partly to mostly sunny, cooler and refreshing. It becomes breezy, especially this afternoon. 67 on the highest hills. Yeah, nice taste of fall. 73 at the lake. West wind averaging about 11 to 20 miles per hour. Some wind gusts near 30 miles, uh, near 30 miles per hour tonight mainly clear and starlit a few clouds overnight tonight 47 in the deepest valleys 60 at the lake erie shoreline again the shoreline communities often stay the warmest with the wind going about 5 to 10 miles per hour overnight there's the weekend for you we talked about it a great uh, labor day weekend labor day itself should be mainly dry a uh, little bit humid and then as the kids go back to school tuesday and wednesday lots of sunshine bit more humid and then on thursday we just bring in a small chance for at least a couple showers and the temperature is going back down again in to the lower 70s.